7405 York University. Um, this is uh, an abortion clinic, and we have a patient who's uh, bleeding very heavily, and doctor is not able to get too much of a grip on it. Okay. How old is she? You know, I don't have her chart with me. It's in there with him, but it is. Uh, we need somebody very quickly. Okay. Is she having trouble breathing? Is she still awake? Or She's still awake, but uh, we need somebody quickly. Right. Can you give me more information? Is she having any trouble breathing? No. Nauseated. All right. I'll be on the way. Thanks. And I'll have them at the front door waiting. All right. Thanks. Hey, this is September 5th, San Diego, 2015, 1.45, or I'm sorry, 11.45. Um, and the mom, I guess, called 911, when the abortionist refused. So this is in a, a, part, or a building with furniture stores all around it and a operating room within that where they perform abortions. That just seems unethical, don't you think? Western Women's Options. I have a patient we need to transfer to the hospital. Five two two Lomas. Okay, the phone number you call it from. Um, two four two seven five one two. What's uh, what's the problem tonight? Can you tell um, me? she just had a um, a second try procedure, and she has a fever that's spiking um, right now, and then her pulse is up to one seventy two with some bleeding that they can't get under control. Are you with her right now? I am not. The doctor is and a nurse practitioner. Uh, so where is the bleeding coming from? Um, it's her uterine. It's uterine bleeding. Oh, uterine. Okay. Uterine. Oh, uterine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how old is she, ma'am? Well, um, let me look at the picture chart. Um, she is 17. 17 years old? Mm-hmm. Uh, is she awake? Yes, she is. Is she raising? Yes. said on that video that that was the fourth call I think within a few months that was during 2010 fourth call botched abortions these kids are underage a lot of times their parents don't know that at that very moment their child is having an abortion and might be dying it's it's absolutely disgusting I'm not pissed at Planned Parenthood for getting money for selling baby body parts, okay? I'm pissed that there are baby body parts to be selling. The abortion itself is the crime, not the compensation for it. PM. Hey, 911. This is Dr. Valerie King. I'm in Salem at the Planned Parenthood office. Uh-huh. I've got it. Okay, great. I have a patient who's non-emergent that needs to be transferred up to OHSU. Okay. Second here. So to OHSU? Yep. Okay. And what is the reason? 
Um, the reason is you need to go to OR for exploratory laparoscopy. How old is the patient? She is 21. And which room? Um, she is in room A, and if you come around to the north side of the building, that is the closed door. Okay, I'll let them know. So she's conscious, she's alert, she's breathing, huh? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Absolutely fine. She's ambulatory. She's everything. Do you need, so do you need ALS or BLS? Oh, um, I think B is probably fine. Okay. She's ready now? She's ready fine. now? Yeah. Okay. Anybody going with her? Um, her boyfriend is here, so he might. Okay. We'll figure that out. Okay. And I'm going to assume you are the ordering doctor. Oh, yeah. Anything else we should know? Uh, I don't she's immediately post abortion and had a perforation of her uterus. Okay. So that was just today? Yep. Okay, I will let them know. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye. Describe the patient as lifeless. This part is redacted. Twenty-one seconds. No. Fast forward. Mm -hmm. We're doing surgical termination here at this clinic. We have a patient. We've done um, a procedure on, and we believe that there, there's been a complication from the procedure, and we need to transfer her. Okay. And we are getting help started while you and I are on the phone. Is there a doctor with the patient? I'm a doctor. They have the sheet covering, so nobody can film. They're very coordinated with their sheets everywhere. Those workers must be trained to just come out and hold up the sheets. It's a routine thing. You can do that on your orientation day. How to part out the body parts of the babies. And how to hold up sheets when you kill the mother as well. Safe and legal. Safe and legal abortion. Awesome. Okay, are you with the patient? Yeah. Okay. We just need to run immediately. Right, like I said, they are coming, but I have to get this information. Okay. How old is the patient? 18. At least this doctor was concerned. Half the calls, they, they cancel the mid-call, or they act like, oh, it's no real big deal. She just, we just perforated her uterus, and... She's just lying in a pool of blood and, you know, either very high or very low blood pressure and about to die. That's all. It's okay. No big deal. Routine procedure. Is she awake? No. She's under sedation. Okay. Is she, so she just under, she's not unconscious? Um, no, she's being sedated because they're doing the procedure on her. Right. Is she breathing? Yes. Okay. Can you give a pressure to have a bit of or anything? Okay. okay. We have them on the way. Thank you. Thanks. And third abortion related medical emergency to that place in three months. That's a good model of safety. Let's go on to the next one. Why aren't these all, like, brought up ever? These are essential services that we provide to women, saving their lives. Saving their lives. Improving their lives. Leaving them scarred emotionally, scarred physically, and some of them don't even make it out of there. And these are children. A lot of them are not even 18 years old. Their parents, I guarantee you, don't know they're there. Imagine that cough, that horrible. 
Oh, you didn't know what was going on? And then your kids dead. Because Planned Parenthood is coming to your schools. It's, it's glamorized. It's accepted. This is not a big decision. It's just the accepted thing. You have a little problem. We take care of it. No big deal. You get back to school. It's all easy to deal with, right? Everybody does it. Every once in a while, people die. Yeah. But, whatever. Gotta crack a couple eggs to make an omelet, right? We're gonna keep down the unwanted of the world. Which is you and your children, okay? You are the unwanted. Well. You're expendable. 